Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first ever review on a beauty product. I'm super excited to film this review because the particular product that I'm going to be reviewing is definitely a high demand product because of the name brand on the company. I loved this product when I first saw it launch and I really like wanted it so I bought it as soon as it hit the sites and I'm super excited to be reviewing it for you guys today. So the product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Kylie Cosmetics Kylie's Diary eyeshadow palette that just launched for her Valentine's Day collection. The palette includes nine eyeshadow shades and two blushes. It also has a mirror which is like totally a plus because a mirror makes applying the eyeshadow a lot easier because it's convenient because it's right there. Um, this palette retailed for $54, I want to say $54, $52, I'm not really quite sure. I'll have it linked in the bottom bar or somewhere on the screen. I bought this palette the day it launched, like I said. Um, it was February 2nd, I think. Uh, the palette did not sell out as quick as I thought it would, but I do love, love, love the shades and the colors, and that's what attracted me very first to buying this palette. Also, I love this orange blush shade that was first, um, when I first saw it, and so I just figured, well, why not give it a try? I haven't really purchased any of her eyeshadow palettes or anything yet, so I just wanted to see what it was like and if it was worth the money. I'm going to be rating this eyeshadow palette based on three different categories. One of them being how pigmented the shadows and the blushes are. Obviously, that is super important. You want to make sure that a little bit goes a long way so that the money you spent on this palette will last you a long time. Second, I'm going to be rating this palette on how blendable these shadows are. How well do they blend out with other shadows? Um, are they seamless? Are they easy to blend? So forth and so on. Lastly, I'm going to be rating both the blushes and shadows on how long they stay. Do they crease up really easily? Do they stay all night long? Are they? The, does the pigment last for a while? Since this is my first review, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything just because I really like the brand on a product or I really like the company. I'm just going to be honest with you guys and let you know how I really feel about the product. Um, yes or no if you should buy it, if I would rebuy it, and a rate out of 10. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you want to see my review on the Kylie's Diary palette, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to be rating this palette on is the pigmentation. Now when I first saw this palette launch, she had posted, Kylie had posted a picture of all the different swatches of this palette on her arm. And that was the first thing that attracted me. I loved the way they looked off. The color payout was amazing. And so I figured, well, if it looks good on her arm, then it has to be amazing. So we are going to go ahead and give these a try. All of the names of the colors are listed on the back of this. So if I'm not naming one off, I will make sure that it is in the bottom bar. I'm only going to swatch three of the shades from this palette. I'm going to swatch one matte shade, one of the glittery shades, and one of the blushes. So for the matte shade, I'm going to be swatching this color right here, which is Loves Me Not. Okay, so I tried swatching it on my arm and it wasn't as easy for me to show on the camera. So I'm going to start doing it on the back of my hand. So again, I'm just going to swatch this color right here, Loves Me Not. It is the matte shade. I'm just going to go one, two, three three times across the pan and by the looks of it the color payoff looks amazing the pigmentation looks awesome but let's just go ahead and swatch it mm. I mean as you can see like I just swatched up I mean and it's just kind of blending away so the color stained my finger, but nothing is paying off when I'm transferring it onto my hand, which is not the best sign. So for the matte, it's kind of an iffy thing. I did go back three times on the pan, so that's picking up a decent amount of product. Let's go ahead and try one of the glittery shades. So for the glittery shades, I'm going to be picking up this color right here, and it is called Bay. And then again, I'm just going to go one, two, three times across the pan. There's literally nothing on my finger. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go two more times across this pan just to get some more color, even though it should have picked up. It's literally still not picking up on my finger. Okay, so it's very sheer. I mean, it's somewhat there. 
Not, not really. Let's try one of the other glittery shades. We'll try this bluish color one that's called Make Me Blush. So one, two, three times. Okay, that one looks a little better, but it's really like like powdery, like it's breaking, breaking up on my finger. So I'm going to swatch it. Okay, yeah, it's literally like dusting off. I know you guys can't see, but it's like every time I like put it on, it's just like falling off. There's literally nothing there. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch one of the blushes and just for like safety and hope that the color is brighter, we're gonna go ahead and do the bright pinker blush and it is called First Date. And then again, I'm just going to use my thumb because my other ones are all dirty, but I'm just gonna swatch it one, two, three times. Hmm, not much. Blushes are pretty hard to swatch though, so I'm gonna give, okay. Barely anything came off. There's just like a little bitty pink hue, which like I said, blushes are a little bit harder to swatch because you don't want them to be like crazy bright, but I mean, I guess you would want something there and there's not, I'll try again. Yeah, there's not much there. So this is a swatch of all the different colors that I did on my hand. This one right here is the blush, which like I said, there's a little bit of a pink hue. This is the matte color I did, I think was called Loves Me Not. This was the this was the first glittery shade I did. I think it was called Bay. And then I can't remember what this one was called, but that was the second one that we gave another try. None of the swatches are really too great, especially the matte. This one was very choppy and it just did not transfer at all, especially these two, honestly, you cannot see anything. I mean, even in person, this one is definitely better. This was the second glittery one we did, but still when I did it on my hand, it literally dusted off and was so like breaking apart. Not, these swatches really are not looking too good, especially for the price point that I paid for this thing. This one definitely did the best. The blush, like I said, gave a pink hue, which is kind of hard to swatch a blush because you don't want them to be super vibrant because they are just supposed to give you a little color. But just by the looks of it, I don't know. Okay, so the next category that I wanted to judge these colors on was the blendableness. Now, I did wear the... Um, I did use this palette for my eye look today, and I definitely think that they are pretty blendable. But the bad part was is I had to keep dipping my brush in and blending and blending and blending and blending. They weren't as blendable as I would like, especially not for $54 that I paid. But, mm, so and so. The last thing that I'm judging this palette on is how long I was able to wear them. I have worn this makeup all day and it seriously still does look amazing. The, the blush that I used was the orange one. I did have to reapply before I filmed because I put it on in the morning, but I mean it stayed on pretty well all day. Out of 10, I would probably rate this palette a 5.5 just because of how awful the pigmentation was. It did take me a while to totally do the eyeshadow look because of how many times I had to keep dipping my brush into the powder and putting it on my eye. I do love all the colors. They are super beautiful and once you get them all blended out and get enough color, they look awesome. If I was thinking about... If I had a chance to go back and revise this palette, I probably would not. Um, just because of the pigmentation honestly and it's really not worth it I feel like I was so excited because the color range and scheme was so beautiful I didn't have anything like this especially not with these like orangey gray tones I'm kind of disappointed because I was like really excited about it and especially this blush color right here both of them, honestly. I was excited about all of it, and it just wasn't up to par with what I thought it was going to be. I will continue to keep using the diary just because I have paid for it, and I do like the colors. Um, it's just that when I pay a lot for palette, I wish that the um, payoff and the pigmentation would be up to par with what I paid. Um, 
I wouldn't recommend buying it if it's something that you're going to be using every day because like I said it's going to take you extra time to blend the shadows more and re keep reapplying because you need more color. Um, I, I mean I would recommend it if you want to try it out and you want to see how it works for you. I don't want you guys to think that the product is going to be awful for you because products work differently for everybody but in my experience it was not the greatest I it was eh. it was okay I mean it's not awful it's not the worst product I've ever used but it's not it's not that great I just feel like with the Kylie cosmetics everybody is like expecting so much because she's so like known you would think that she would put out like products that are really amazing and worth the price but it's almost like she's kind of like cutting people short just with the name the Kylie cosmetics so, I mean, I think that there's other products out there that are cheaper and work just as well, if not way better. So, that is just my honest review, and I hope you guys got some knowledge from it. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching my first ever palette review or beauty product review. I will definitely be reviewing some more products with you in the future. I feel like it's definitely a helpful video to review high demand products that everybody's been wanting and letting you know if they're worth it or not. I am very upset about this palette because like I said I was in love with the colors and I was so excited but not everything works for everybody and if it does work for you let me know so maybe I can give it a couple more tries but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I will see you later